It's an NBA afternoon game here on this Thursday. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. We've got the Charlotte Hornets and the Chicago Bulls. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. We've got Wingate. Morning is out there with Johnson. Then it's Bogues. And it's Gill in at the shooting guard position. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And so the Charlotte Hornets get the first points of the ball game. Hornets now working with the new shot clock. Morning's shot is good. Yeah, and Morning's just a beast on the glass, using that muscular frame to get into prime position there on the board. Now here's Jordan. Then for three. That shot, no good. We're about one minute into the first. And there's the drive. Here's Bo. Johnson, a wide open look. The rebound by Grant. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Jordan against Gill. And Jordan gets it to go. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Here's Johnson. Makes it off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. And both free throws, good for Jordan. Now, Bogues. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And Grant sends it back. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Grant. Here's Bogues. Banked in off the glass. Bogues has got his second bucket of the game to go. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Armstrong passes to Kirk. And here's Jordan outside. Here's Pippen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Johnson left side. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. And Morning sends it back. And that is why shooters fear Morning. He's got excellent instincts for coming up with the block. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Now, here's Bones. The pass to Gill. Johnson right side. Shoots over Grant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Horace Grant. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. He misses the free throw. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that one. Absolutely. Williams, he's checked in for Bill Cartwright. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Trailing by two. Here's Jordan. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Jordan's got nine. Yeah, well, we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now, here's Bogues. Johnson left side. He can't hit that time. 
Some solid defense from Grant. Jordan up top is guarded by Johnson. And Jordan trains the fadeaway. And just beautiful form on MJ's jumper. A part of the game he polishes more and more every year. Two minutes. Bogues against Armstrong. A minute 50 left here in the opening quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bogues. And the Hornets miss again. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Here's Pippen. Outside for Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Chicago making some changes. Kings checked in for Grant. McCray has come in for Scottie Pippen. And it's Paxson in for B.J. Armstrong. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Gaddison, he's checked in for Johnson. Newman comes in for Wingate. Curry's checked in for Gill. And Bennett subbed in for Bowles. Here's Gaddison. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Newman. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Here's Jordan, and Morning sends it back. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. Passes it to Kerr. Now, here's Bennett, guarded by Paxson. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Chicago leading. Who's watching here? Here's Jordan. Morning with some nice D. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Props in the layup for two. And it's a tie ball game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Now, here's Jordan. 13 points in the game. With four seconds on the clock. That one goes in. Jordan's got 15 points. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Michael Jordan getting it done for Chicago. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. Back to the action in just a minute. these teams can jump out in the second quarter. Guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Attacking, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the line. They have done a tremendous job of drawing contact and putting officials in a place where they simply have to make the call. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Johnson is out there with Newman. And there's Bennett. Then there's Morning. And it's Curry in at the two guard. Now here's Curry. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. Curry looking it over. Shoots over Jordan. And that one goes long. And this is a shot he can definitely make. And the defense not a factor at all. And Morning sends it back. Curry outside. Sharpshooter Del Curry hits the three. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. And here's Jordan outside. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. 18 points for him. And, and guys, getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. 
Morning's shot is good. Check out Morning inside where he operates with such confidence. This close in, he knows he's got the shot. Here is Armstrong. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Yep, it counts. And you're not going to pass up that kind. The Hornets trail. Then at the pass to Newman. Kicks it to Curry. Pass to Bennett. Here's Morning. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Jordan inside. Curry meets him. That's a basket. His eighth from the field. Eight of 14. Outside Curry. Johnson down low. Oh. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Jordan against Curry. Again, Chicago. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Morning. From down in the low post, it goes. Morning's got it all tied up now for the Hornets. A sliver of room. That's all he needed to get to the bucket. Nice, aggressive move, slipping and sliding his way through. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. So for the Bulls, Bill Purdue's check in for King. Grant comes in for Williams, and it's Paxson in for Jordan. The Hornets also changing it up. Gill is checked in for Curry. Alex Bogues in for Bennett. Now Grant, Scotty Pippen missing from long range. Knocked down by the seven-footer Purdue. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession on a poor shot. Pass to Johnson. Shoots over Grant. Again, the Hornets score. Well, defending him inside is never an easy job. A little reminder of that right there. Bogues against Pippen. Boy, for a guy 6'8 to move like that, Pippen, so impressive. Merciless move by Scotty with the ball, completely unbalancing the defender. Bogues the pass to Gill. With some arc, he lays it in. Gill's got his first basket. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Here's Pippen. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. And I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. Now, here's Bogues. Here's Johnson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Horace Grant. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Hornets have converted one of two free throws so far today. Charlotte making some changes. Gaddison, he's checked in for morning. And it's Wingate in for Newman. And he can't hit the second. One forty-six left in the first half of the game. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. They got very fortunate there, guys. They should just take their time on offense and not try to force things. Here's Bippen. He has six. The pass to Johnson. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Clearly a foul. The Hornets have made two and missed two at the line tonight. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for the Bulls. McCray has come in for Armstrong. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And here are the Bulls now. Pippen kicks to Grant. Outside for Pippen. For three. 
drills it from outside. Pippen's got nine. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He, he knows he just needs the ball, and then he is good to go. Bogues the pass to Wingate. Here's Gaddison. He is guarded by Cartwright. That shot's good from Gaddison. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Pippen against Gill. For three, Paxson. The shot misses. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Paxson against Bogues. Shot clock at five to the right side. Wingate passes to Johnson. And good that time. 14 points for him. Chicago with the ball. Trailing by two. Pippen kicks to McCray. Back to Pippen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And maximum effort. That's what you see from Scottie Pippen. Game after game. He looks for ways to affect the game every minute. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's Bogues. Passes it to Johnson. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Getting all over the shooter, Grant, using that big frame and long arms to disrupt that one. Michael Jordan getting it done for the Bulls. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a quick one as both teams try to gain an edge. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. B.J. Armstrong is out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Grant. Then there's Pippen. And it's Cartwright in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Armstrong. Cranes the three-pointer. Armstrong's got the first point of the second half up on the board for the Bulls. Bogues against Armstrong. Now here's Bogues. He's tightly guarded. Some solid defense from Grant. Chicago leading by three. It's Jordan with the drive. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Here's Bowles. Down low. Here's Johnson. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Johnson's got 16 points. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. And Morning sends it back. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. 
Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Here's Jordan. And finally they hit one. Jordan's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. And here's Charlotte. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Here's Johnson. And the seven foot one, Bill Cartwright extends for the rebound. And it's Pippen in the corner. Bogues with it. Looks for Morning, gets it to him. Bogues the pass to Morning. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. And Bogues, no doubt, terrific at his ability to dish the rock. His vision is off the charts. Here's Jordan. It's all in by Alonzo Morning. Hornets trail by three. Here's Johnson. Chicago grabs the miss. Pippen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A drive by Jordan. Oh, and that's a rugged point. That's straight toughness. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. Now, here's both. And now the first time out called here for the Hornets. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. So for the Bulls, Bill Perdue's checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Horace Grant. And McCray subbed in for Pippen. The Hornets also changing it up. Newman comes in for Wingate. And Curry subbed in for Gill. Here's Bowes. To the middle. Here's Morning. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Williams. And it's checked in for Charlotte. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Another shot. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut to just three points on the basket for Morning. Boy, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Here's Jordan. The shot from the low post is good. Jordan's got the lead back up to five now for the Bulls. And so it's Charlotte with it. Outside Curry. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Williams. Curry with the steal. The feed to Bennett. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Williams with the block. And he's able to get it back. Over to the wing. Here's Newman. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Jordan. A shot, no good. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Curry passes to Johnson. Tries again. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Curry. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Then at the pass to Johnson. Charlotte moving the ball around. Back to Morning. It's deflected. 133 left in the third quarter of the game. Jordan passes to Purdue. A three ball. Armstrong gets the bucket. And now it's an eight-point Bulls lead. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Bulls. Great job by this team closing out. Locking a bunch of shots and just a tremendous effort defensively. The other thing for this team today, they have a bunch of second chance points. They're turning misses into makes. Johnson kicks to Morning. The wide open shot is on the money. Morning's got 14 points. 
How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. So for the Bulls, Hartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Williams, and it's Paxson in for McCray. Gaddison, he's checked in for Charlotte. Bogues comes in for Bennett. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's got 34. Yep, that one goes in there. And no one has better natural scoring tools. But, but another thing that really sets MJ apart, the acute instincts he brings to the table. Now, here's Bowes. Eight-point game. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here, following the goaltending call. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Paxson passes to Jordan. And the Bulls, another three. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Kept alive, Morning, and Morning throws it down. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Armstrong gets the bucket. And although point guard size, he does feature the touch of a shooting guard. B.J. showing off his range. Takes the 13-footer. Morning can't make it work. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's Chicago. They're up by 10. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. On the court for the Hornets, they've got Gaddison. Gill is out there with Bogues. Then there's Morning, and it's Curry in at the three slot. Boy, nice shot. He didn't need the fadeaway to create separation, though. He was wide open. Here's Jordan. Lays it up and banks it in. Jordan's got 41. Haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Pass to Morning. Shoots over King. That is good. And the Bulls leaders get back down to eight points. They needed that one from Alonzo Morning. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Pass to Paxson. Inside. King, that's good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. And so here's Charlotte. The Bulls getting the bucket, and it's Bogues missing. It's Jordan on the wing, guarded by Kirk. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Yeah, this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Here's Gill after the made shot from Scotty Pippen. And the pass to Bowers. Lock at six. He dishes it to Morning. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Horace Grant. And the big fella morning using that massive size to draw contact inside. Chicago calls timeout. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatoring. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Michael Jordan. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. 
It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. During that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Phil Jackson said to the team. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if they can keep focused. Thank you, David. free throw good for morning and you gotta love the fire that morning plays with his passion for the game is so special and both free throws good for morning and it's the bulls with the ball it's a 10-point game Here's Jordan, and Jordan throws it down. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Here's Bowles. After the Bulls picking up a basket just moments ago, and it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position, Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. With the step back, here's Bo. King with the block. And it's out of bounds for the Hornets as Charlotte retains possession. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Morning kicks to Bogues. Dishes it to Johnson. Five to shoot. The eight footer. It's all in by the Bulls. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Johnson kicks to Bogues. Here's the teardrop. King with the block and the dunk by Morning. Chicago leading by 12. Jordan down low. He's covered by Gill. Right on the bucket. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. And the shot goes in. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Again, Chicago. On a roll now. He is on fire. Hornets trail by 14. Bogues the pass to Johnson. Comes up empty down low. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Passes to King. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And they get it back. Grant kicks to Jordan. Driving the lane. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That's his first foul. Cartwright's checked in for the Bulls. One thirty left in the fourth. Armstrong against Bogues. To the paint, here's Gill, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. 
Unbelievable explosion. Shows a great burst to the rim and extends over the taller defender. Here's Jordan. And that misses everything. Hornets trail by 12. Pass to Wingate. There's the dish to Johnson. Shoots over Pippen. Outside to Bogues. Pass to Wingate. Out to the wing. Here's Gill. The rebound by Cartwright. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would see it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls with another miss. And stolen by Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. Well, you look up at the scoreboard, the time remaining, this game is effectively over. Well, you have to appreciate the hard work that went into the building this lead. They have been terrific all night. Got a hand on it. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Pippen, the pass to Kirk. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And slam dunk by Johnson. No, oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Outside for Pippen. The pass to Armstrong. Shoots. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. And this is how unselfish Pippen can be, wanting to find his teammate. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone.